Oh yeah. Good solid starter right there, guys. Awesome. All right, guys, welcome back. Awesome fish to start with. We're actually gonna keep a couple tonight. That's because we need to get some in the freezer for a fish fry that we're gonna have here in the coming week. But welcome back to another fantastic episode of Three Pound Fish. I'm glad you're here. We're actually out here in early evening around five o'clock, relatively sunny day. Still got some crazy boaters all around here, but fishing with the hammer. If you guys don't know anything about the hammer, Hammer 10 is freaking the best 10 footer on the market. You gotta check it out. Um, I built this for two years. It is absolutely, it's sold out in the springtime. It's back. You guys can get it at threepoundfishing.com. Got the 200 series reel, which matches up and looks tight just with it. And we've got the new asteroid on there right there. That's that black braid. And we are fishing with the hair jigs. So if you guys are interested in a nice let's go fishing pack, there you go, you got that. So fishing the boat, early evening. Um, you know, we've got rid of some of that humidity, which is pretty freaking awesome. So it's a little crispy out, which is nice. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna be here, catch a few fish, try to get about, I don't know, I like to keep around five to 10 fish when I'm looking for a fish fry. Uh, small bag just for me and my family. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun, man. We're gonna, we're gonna be casting to them, vertical jigging, all that good stuff. Hopefully maintaining just fishing with hair jigs. That's what I like to stick with today. Now we've got a monster pile here, which is really nice to see, which, um, you know, the temperatures have totally dropped since our 96 and 100 degree weather, uh, which has been nice. So I'm hoping these fish are gonna be a little bit more active. Water temperature this time of day at 82 is pretty nice because it's been all the way up to 86, 87. So I know we've definitely cooled off. So we hope that's gonna, you know, raise the activeness of these fish a little bit. Oh, we got a little guy. Very nice. We moved around quite a bit, guys. Looking for fish. Found tons of fish, but nothing significant. Catching a lot of these guys right now. Still fun to catch them, but we let those guys go. Got a lot of suspended fish right here, as you can see. And, uh, and fish that are on the pile, but those suspended fish seem to be a little bit more active. So we go back down for more here. Uh, a little bit better, but still not a keeper. Look at that guy right there, guys. Beautiful fish though. We're gonna let him go. Need to size up. There we go. Very good fish. All right. Man. I'll tell you what, guys. Light, light bite, but we finally got a good fish. Definitely a keeper. We're going to keep that one. Oh my gosh, it's a light bite. I have caught several small fish. Uh, I might have shown one or two. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to end up doing with this episode, but uh, light, light bite. So what I did was I started off with the hair jig, the carrot. Then I went to a plastic, nothing but small fish on the plastic. Went back to a small hair jig. I think it's called the yellow bird on the website. One of the hair jigs. Uh, it's again, yeah, it's this guy right here. So in, in that pack, anyway point is is that size definitely matters and I definitely think they need to see it with the white so that's what we're going with right now very interesting we're way in the back of there that screen right there and we're just really just little bitty bumps little bitty bumps trying to get their attention get them off the ground they're definitely all in the mud right now oh there's one right there on cue feels like a good fish Oh yeah, oh yeah. Probably on the smaller side, but either way. Oh, good fish right there, guys. Good fish, good eating size. Now, why do I use a 10-footer? That's the question, guys, right? We get that a lot. 
10 footer to me is the smallest rod that I want to use if I'm possibly going to have a vertical jig. And I've been using a 10 footer uh, for my entire crappie career. In fact, started on it. Uh, the Hammer 10 here is built based off of those years. Super strong uh, and sensitive. So you can feel this super light bite. Very, very, very important. I mean, in my opinion, you just, you need one with certain backbone level um, that you can, you know, you can feel these super light bites. Um, and a 10 footer allows you to do everything that you'd want to do. For example, pitching, casting, vertical jigging. If you have an eight footer, you can barely get past that trolling motor, right? Well, that 10 footer allows you to get about four feet past that trolling motor, which is perfect for vertical jigging. Um, now, if I know I'm gonna cast all day, then absolutely, I might go with that eight footer, that king's tail. But if I think there's a chance I might be vertical fishing or I want the ability to really pitch far, the Hammer 10 is, is the ticket. And again, Hammer, Hammer 10 is my, my go-to rod every day on the guide service. All right, guys, well, that's gonna end it. I appreciate you guys watching. We had a great day. I've got some keepers. I'm gonna go home and clean them. Uh, great evening on the water. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please share the video. All those great things. Check out the Asteroid. Check out the Hammer 10. Check out the Hair Jig Pack. You guys will not go wrong with any of those choices um, at 3poundfishing.com. Take it easy, guys.